All right. Here's a flash news. N8N is dead. Because now Google has introduced Opal where you can build N8N-like workflows. Now I'm very excited to introduce you Opal by Google. But here's the catch. It is not publicly available yet, but you can use it VPN and you can go to the United States VPN and access it and try it out, test it out. And by the time it reaches all over the world and public and escapes its beta program, it could compete with N8N and Make.com. To access Opal, what you need to do is you can go to any VPNs and turn on the VPN. And once you turn on the VPN, you can type in Opal. And when you type in Opal and Google, it will show you Opal with Google.com. Make sure you select the right one and make sure you are in a United States VPN server. Otherwise, in other regions, it is not available. Now, once you do that, you need to log in. So as of right now, I have already logged in and I have tested out some things. Now, let us go and show you one of the very interesting, you know, galleries. We have already pre-prepared templates right here. Now, once you know, go to the gallery, you can simply click on the blog post writer. Now, keep in mind, if you want to access this, you want to first remix it, you cannot directly, you know, edit or you just you can only use it but you cannot edit it if you want to edit the workflows just like right here you want to remix first to your dashboard now it just says some warning right here this opal app is not editable please remix it to make changes now i'm just gonna you know click on remix and it's gonna take the entire workflow create a duplicate and put it in my workflows now once it does that i can test it out yeah i can also try edit workflows input outputs now it is very similar and very very quick you can do every single thing and one more thing i want to show you is we're going to build a live google scraper in this video i'm just going to show you how to do that from scratch okay from scratch just like an edit and it is very easier than an editor very fast okay we have got the blog post writer remix now i'm just gonna click on start now if you look at the workflow so let me just zoom in if i take a look at what is happening right here inside the workflow so we first get the topic so that is what it is asking me please provide the topic for blog post now once i write here press dog now once i hit enter right here what it does is it's going to do the research so this is the next step which is a research the topic for a blog post so it searches the web if i take a look at the workflow used in this step you can see literally see right here so let me just zoom in you can see literally right here search as a web get web page get a topic and then write create an outlines and once you know to write the outline get the topic and do the research and create outlines and then once the outline is generated create a banner image and then you know display the blog post and also write post you know writing outline using outlines is going to create an entire post okay cool now it's doing the research so let's just wait until it finishes now what i can do is while it is running i can also look at the workflows individual workflows now we are in a do research workflow so let me just click on it so what it does is we basically have the prompt we can also customize the prompt so this is a prompt area right so this is a natural language but this is a prompt area so now we can see in live navigated to write outline step so the prompt is research the topic for a blog post a well-done research should include basic overview of topic historical perspective use the tool search web and then get web page now in order to you know access those you simply type in art and then it will show you okay so topic for the blog post is get topic so we have got topic from get topic and then we are in a right outline workflow so what it does is initial topic is a get topic to research do research okay cool so writing outline the outline examine the initial topic and the research report summary and come up with an outline for a blog post okay outlines are basic overviews historical perspective current opinions any controversies any i can also go ahead and you know include the faq section all right so basically so let me just go to the preview so displaying block create a banner image given the outline industry of futuristic as a of banner for the blog post reflecting its same concepts right outline now guys the interesting part right here is we can select the models right here we have from veo to audio models and then image generation models and also chat models and research models up to date gemini 2.5 flash and pro which is cool right so if i take a look at the preview what is happening right here we entirely got an article so this is very well researched but i don't know if it is uh, you know humanized ai content i don't know if it's accept, accepted by google adsense or not but yeah so this is basically competing with n8 and how cool is that how cool literally we are getting it for free i mean google mostly does it for free unless you want to max out you want to go for a pro plans but yeah we're gonna get all the nh for free and if what the interesting part you know what makes me very interesting is that we don't even need to get google apis and you know put in keys or whatever whatever technical information now it is already connected 
via your Google account. You use your credits from your Google account, whichever Gmail is connected, you know, logged in right here. It all, you know, fetches all, all the things, you know, whatever you want, including video, audio, and then image generations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and click on create new. So let's just create a Google, you know, Google leads scraper. Okay, as promised, let's build our first NHN like workflow, automation workflow inside Opal. So in order to do that, we're going to, okay, the example is going to be scraping leads in a city of a, you know, whatever. So let's just say I want to create a real estate or interior business lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, we have all this, you know, workflow assets right here. You can, you know, we can get the user input, generate an output and add assets, user input. Now here inside the user input, I'm just going to type here, enter your city name where you want to find the leads and here. At the bottom, you can see the input type. So here I'm just going to choose the text. And once I do that, so we have the user input, which we get the text. So, and then you simply drag it and just leave it. And it's going to ask you the output or input or generate. So first we want to generate. So what we want to generate is we want to get, we want to get the leads. We want to search the, you know, we want to search in a web. In order to do that, you simply type in an at, and then you have search maps or search web. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search maps. So what we want to search in some maps. So we want to search, one second, we want to search maps, search maps for the, okay, for the real estate. Okay, I'm just going to give interior design in the city. Okay. So basically what we are saying is the user inputs the keyword which is let's just say California and then it's going to the next step is generation which is what generate what it generates is search maps for the interior design in the California which is a get city now I'm just gonna select the latest model so what the relevant the relevant model is gonna be 2.5 pro which is the latest one okay now if you look at it, we are getting the input from user and we get the data now we want to store this data what we're going to do is we want to create another generate option which is going to be the generate one and here in this generate what we're going to do is okay from the search maps data now search maps is not the search map search map is the workflow which we have named okay so from the search map workflow from the search map results get get the business name and their emails or let me just put it this way their contact contact information and put it in a table so that's that okay so this is what we're gonna do now that we have the workflow and we have all these two important styles we have fetched the data now let me just rename this so now that we have all this so what we want is we want the output so here i'm just going to click here and choose the output so we have got the green one right here so what we want to do with the data is make this data store in google sheets okay so here I'm just going to select the Google Sheets. So you can store it in a manual layout or you can also you know, generate a blog post. So as we have seen in the previous blog post generator web page with auto, auto layout, save to Google Docs, save to Google Slides, but Google, I'm just going to save to Google Sheets and that's that. So I'm just going to, here is going to ask you to rename the Google spreadsheet title. So I'm just going to write here test leads real estate. I'm sorry, interior interior of this okay so cool now what well, this is the workflow so we have got the entire workflow right here so what i'm going to do is now go to the preview section here okay so let me just select the go to the data and go to the 2.5 pro and yeah so we're done go to the city click on preview and here click on start and enter your city name so i'm just gonna enter california and it went to the search maps all right we just finished the workflow and here it is if i go to the google sheet and you can see the google sheet is stored right here the information stored inside the whatever file name which i have given test leads into your biz now i cannot open it there might be some confidential information right here like phone number so 
you can test it out okay you can test it out make sure you to use vpn uh, you know you message that vpn with that said this is a review of opal from google and i think it's going to become better even better before it releases to you know public you can see right here i don't even need to you know take the api keys and put it inside the google opal or whatever it's just like you know whenever we try to you know create a workflow in an automation in an automation on make.com it doesn't need it, it it doesn't need to have you know we don't even need to do that right because it's all written in google this is going to be very interesting and i'm very happy to you know get your ideas on what you can create on opal so leave your know, ideas in the comment and with that said catch you on the next one like and hit the subscribe